Hey guys, um, I wanted to make another video um, about uh, about 2020 design. Uh, the last video that I made, uh, which was for the virtual reality, uh, seemed to be pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, I think a lot of people benefited from it. Um, I've noticed that the videos that 2020 actually provides, uh, there's a lot of good ones on, uh, if you go to 2020.net, uh, there's actually some pretty good ones on there but when it comes to youtube um you know try to get some extra advice it seems like there's not a whole lot extra out there um to to really to throw in i guess like the wow factor um and and really make it so that there's uh you know so your your design is is really going to pop out if somebody else is using 2020 and you're you're competing against them for a sale um and they're using 2020 i've with what I do, um, you know, people are constantly uh, bringing in uh, pictures from other people that are using 2020, and I honestly just have to laugh. I really do. I laugh at at, at just they just it just does not look good at all. The way they just don't put any effort into making it look good. Uh, not only because of how they you know position the camera when they're making the pictures. But also the lighting and other things that make it really that are really important to make the the design look really good. So what I want to do is I want to uh, focus on some things that I think are really important to make yours stand out. Um, and one thing I want to point out, which um, which by the way, this video is not going to be for people that are just are just now getting uh, involved with 2020. If you want to get the basics down. Uh, this video is not for you. This is more for an advanced, uh, somebody who's been doing this for a little bit with 2020 design. Um, but the first thing that I want to point out is, and I, you know what, I, I'm taking for granted here that some of you probably already know about this, but I didn't know about this for quite a while, and I don't know why I didn't know about this. But uh, this little thing right here, this, this thing that looks like a camera, um, I never even knew what it was about like what how to use it um, how to use it um, to to its best potential and I want to show you real quick how to do this now first of all this is uh, this is where it is down here so if you don't if you've never used it before uh, it's show and hide camera so you bring it up first thing that you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to make sure that the height you know, go to camera height make sure it's you know not at a Stupid height because usually when they when uh, you pull this up originally it's going to be at like 200 inches high it's going to be way up in this in the, in the sky and it's going to have a, a weird angle so first thing you want to do is put this at like you know like six, 60 inches somewhere around there um, that's pretty good height for it and then also you want to make sure that you have the tilt on it at um, you know probably zero is going to be where you're going to want to put this um, the other thing I want to point out about this is that when you do this, whenever you pull up your um, perspective view, you, your camera is automatically set to have an angle something like this. So your 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 field of view is very small, and so in order to be able to see, let's say you're working with a really small kitchen, um, it can be frustrating, and it can be actually kind of it looks it doesn't look as good uh, because you can't see the whole thing. And so what you can actually do is if you actually put your pointer right on this right here, you can actually spread it out. And what I do is a lot of times I'll start it out all the way out here. Um, now you'll see when I show you here that it, there are some there are some things that you might want to uh, keep in mind when you're doing this. If you're going to bring it all the way out, um, it can actually distort. It will distort the sides all the way on the edge. edge so it will make it look a little stretched out. But it's really, really, really important that you get as much of this at angle or field of view as you can without it really stretching out and making it look weird. So I'm going to real quick show you what I mean by that. And I'm not going to show you on here. I'm going to show, well, well let's see here. All right, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, instead of going to, I'm going to show you uh, in, a, uh, in a folder that I have instead of on here because there's some things I want to show you on here later. So... This is with this is a picture of uh, the kitchen that you're looking at down, uh, you know what I was just showing you there, the floor plan, um, and I, I brought the angle out. I didn't bring it all the way out because it will start to stretch it. Now this is what I in this particular size kitchen, this is how much of a field of view that 
is appropriate to with it without it you know looking stretched stretched out on the sides here as you can see it doesn't really look stretched out um, it's pretty proportional and, and, and when you're looking at the kitchen uh, at the actual kitchen that I went to to this person's house this is a really really good uh, representation of how big the space looks and the, and the you know the, you want to get that as close as possible to what your field of view would be if you're standing in, in this location same thing here um, and yeah so I mean really you just want to make sure that that, that field of view is going to be it's going to be wide so let me show you real quick what will happen if you make it too wide if you make it too wide You'll notice, uh, and by the way, this is going to take a little while to to load. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on in here. I I really decked this this one out. So, if you do it too wide, um, you'll notice that uh, you know the wall here, and let's pull this to the side. This all is really stretched out. Um, you might not see it as much since you don't know the space. The center will be pretty much right on, but on the sides here, you'll see that the door is a little bit stretched out, um, and also this this window and the wall and everything over here is stretched out. It's just it's just not it's just not that great. So what I usually do is I just pull back just a little bit from from the most you can put it, and just you know use it there. Um, that's for the camera uh, to make it you know the best that you can um, for a rendering. Another thing I want to point out to you guys is if you are really serious, if you are really, really serious about wanting to wow somebody, what I suggest doing is if if you if if you're not doing if you're not doing these drawings right in front of them to sell it to them, uh, I'm assuming that most of you guys are salesmen, um, and so you're doing this to you know to sell the project and help them you know see this and envision this in their own house. What I really, really, really would suggest that you do is take the time to Notice the little things, okay? So notice the little things that are, are going on. And, and you know what What I do, actually, is I take pictures of every angle. And not only that, but even take pictures of the outside, like how it is here. I take pictures of parts of the room that are surrounding it. I, I, make, I take note of what kind of lighting they have, where their seating is. Um, as you can see here, there's an accent wall that is right here. Um, <clears throat> And you take note of those things because you really want to make it so that they're test driving their space. So they really, really know that they're, that what they're seeing is going to be like what they actually, you know, are, they can really envision it in their home. Um, I have actually found that if you put this at high, it's even better than if you use this uh, this real-time rendering here, which which is supposed to be like ultra high definition. But I like doing the, I like doing the high. Um, the high quality mode on uh, the regular rendering, but anyway, um, as I, when I was, I'll get back to what I was saying here. Notice the little things you'll notice here, because in this person's house, um, she has, you know, she has, she likes her wine. Uh, she she has a little wine rack, and so you know, I'm putting things like wine here to make because she wanted a little bar. Uh, this is exact. You know, it's funny because actually the catalog actually had a rendering or actually had a, a hanging light that pretty much matched exactly what she had. So I put that here. Um, you know, I this is the space that she's working with over here. Um, I took pictures of this room so that I could really, really make it so that this is exactly like what what she has at her house. So you know, even this here is is the same color and everything as what she has. This here is the same kind of oval you know, uh, oval table and uh, the fan, even the rooms outside of here, there's a little, there's a little uh, artwork here. So again, you know, the arch, everything is important to make sure that they feel like this is really going to be their home, you know, so they can really test drive this kitchen um, or bathroom, whatever the case may be. So take pictures. Um, if you're not doing it in the house, take pictures of everything going on around your space. So that as you're viewing it, they can really, really envision that. Um, yeah. So another thing that's really, really important to do is uh, I just find as you can, as you can see here, this this whole lighting that you see coming from the windows that you can see here have from blinds 
can see these these uh, little lines here from the blind. Even if they don't have blinds, I would suggest doing that on the windows. Whatever window you have, if there's any windows in, in the room, put a blind on it, um, just like you have here, because it really just helps the atmosphere in the room uh, look a lot you know, more realistic. Um, okay, and then getting into something real quick that is a bit of an annoyance. If you don't have the full catalog, or if you don't have the availability to use catalogs that are uh, you know that are from your specific manufacturer like if you're using this strictly for rendering purposes and you're not using a catalog from you know uh, I don't know Fabu wood or whatever there's certain there's different catalogs that you can get in the back part of uh, 2020.net but if you have the very basic version of 2020 which is what I have you can't and so you're stuck with using you know what options they have available now, even if you don't, even if you even if you're not stuck with that, and you and you do actually have the availability to use the, um, and you do have the availability to get other cabinets, I still am going to say this is going to be really important for you to do. When you when you put lighting in, like these puck lights or these hanging lights or this light here, um, specifically when you're using white cabinets, guys, the generic version. No matter what, the generic version is never white. As you can see here, this looks gray, um, and as, especially when you have this next to it. This is a white door, and you've got these that look gray. And I, I can't stand it, but you know what? You have to work with what you have to work with. So this lighting up here, what you have to do is, you first of all, put as much lighting as possible next to it without, without making it so that it's overexposed. And when you do that, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to make it so that your light properties... This is going to be a, um, a yellowish color. It's going to be this color right here. What you want to do is bring it back to white. Um, because if you don't, then it's not going to help your case at all. It's still going to look gray. And uh, what, what you're also going to want to do, which I didn't do here actually, and I should have done, is bring the angle out. So you bring the angle out. There's other ways you can do this. You can go to a profile. You can change the profile here. But I just like going to color, bring it to white, and bring it out like that. Um, I brought this up to 40 watts just to make it a little bit brighter against the cabinets. Again, just because for some reason, they just look gray. So if you can make your cabinet look white, just do it. Um, oh, that's why I didn't do that, because if you do that, it makes it look overexposed. So again, there's a bunch of different ways to do this, and you need to figure out the best way for your particular project kitchen that you're working with. So um, lighting is so important. And it's so important that you use the right color of lighting as well. So, um, <clears throat> again, <coughs> so again, um, make sure that the color of your lighting is white, not yellow. Um, I, you can see actually here, I don't think I did that for this here. Nope, see, still yellow. Um, yeah, because I can see it here on the, on the countertops. Um, white is going to be your best bet 99% of the time. Just, just do it. It's going to help you out. And like I said, take notice of what's going on around the room, of what they have. You want to make this as much like the one, like like what they're living in, so that they can they can really feel it. Take note of their taste. Like I said, like I had that wine bottle here. Uh, this is the lighting fixture, things like that. So just take note of that. Um, so to kind of recap. You want to use that camera, use that little camera button at the bottom right. And it's going to, uh, it's going to give me a hard time now. Okay. Yeah. Use the camera here. And like I said, make it wider. It's just the bigger, the, the bigger it is, the easier it is um, to see everything, the, the more attractive it's going to be. So you don't have to pull the camera. I've seen a lot of people where they pull the camera all the way up above the kitchen so that you can look down on it because they, that's the only way you can seem to get a full view of it. Just use this camera and pull it, pull this pull this line out. Um, not all the way necessarily, unless you have to, but just you know to appropriate to the appropriate amount so it doesn't look too stretched out. So there are some rendering tips that I have for you guys. I hope you could take it all in. Um, all of those things are really important. Like I said, just take notice of what's going on at at their house to make it so that they can really really envision it being their home uh, with a new kitchen in it. I will be making more videos like this. 
that go more into depth instead of such an overview.